Alright, whoa, whoa guys, what is up, Mike here, and welcome to my brand new Pokemon Renegade Platinum Advanced Nuzlocke Challenge. Also, um, you guys, uh, if you guys are not interested in watching this video as a challenge, and if you guys are interested in making in your, your own Nuzlocke, then you can actually watch this guide, uh, oh, watch this video as a guide to Nuzlocke in this game. So yeah, please be sure to do that and tell me how your Nuzlocke went if you're interested in Nuzlocke in this game. I hope you guys are excited for this one because I definitely am. So let's get started. I pick up Turtwig because it's the bulkiest of them all. Uh, plus you get all the three Xeno starters anyway, so yeah, it does not really make a difference. And now it's time to battle Rival Shield and I easily defeat his Chimchar in the first battle easy victory by spamming tackle now that I've got the Pokédex and Pokéballs let's get the Nuzlocke started I get this Eevee here which is really really nice I'm definitely gonna evolve it into an Umbreon and next up I decide to battle yeah, battle Dawn yep Dawn does battle you in this game she's also your rival which really makes this game uh, awesome. So yeah, I beat her up easily. <laughs> I cast this Starly right here, and according to me, I give it a funny nickname. I get all the Kanto starters here, which is again really nice. I cast this Deodu right here, and I combine it with the item expert belt, and it, re it is very helpful against his wild battle as most of his Pokemon are countered by it. Even his Munchlax, the bulky, fat, baby version of Snorlax does not stand a chance. This game is awesome, it already gives you some really good competitive items and this helps you in customizing your team. Next up, at Orberg City, I get all the Hoenn starters which is again Awesome. Welp, it's time to battle Rourke now. And I use an awesome strategy for this. I give my Marshawn the Expert Belt item and just sweep it. Sweep like that. It's water ground typing combined with the Expert Belt is enough for each and every Pokemon of Rourke. I mean, Rourke can use electric type moves, but Marshawn's again a ground type, so no one can para hacks you with Thunder Wave or. No one can use any electric type moves on you, which is um, a really good thing. But one thing, please be careful of critical hits, as there are many in this game. Luckily it didn't happen to me, so it's okay for me. I mean, yeah, I just destroyed this guy with a level 16 Marshall. It's okay, it's good. And that's how I got my first gym badge in here. I get these Johto starters at Floroma Town, which is really good. The, all the other battles were easy so far, so I just decided to record Gardenia's battle. But anyways, I only recorded it since it's the gym battle, and yeah, this was a sweep again. I just set up a substitute with my Combuskin and three bow cups and sweep her entire team with fire punch like it's nothing lol by the way guys i won't be able to show each and every boss battles because ds games generally run very slow on my laptop so yeah it's gonna be hard to show every each and every battle so i'm just gonna show the main boss battles so please guys please understand that i love you guys but um whatever so yeah, um, that's what I did. And you guys can also uh, do the same strategy with Monferno just in case you lost your combat scan or whatever. Um, it basically works in the same way. It's just that I didn't do it because um, my Chimchar didn't really have such a good nature. It had a minus speed nature. So I was kind of scared uh, to use it. So I just used a combat scan instead. And that worked way better. Well, the commander battle and the Mira. Yep, she battles you in this game. I mean, I guess she battles you in the regular platinum as well. 
but I don't really know. I've not gone to game. But in this game, it, that cave is actually compulsory um, with Mira battling you and doing that double, uh, double battle things. But whatever. Let's just get to dawn. And yeah, I don't know why Mr. Ding Dong felt that this battle was difficult because I, I felt that it was easy. And my mid tank takes out her first Pokemon pretty easily. Next up is her Primplup, so I switch to my Torterra to finish it off. Yeah boy, I have a Torterra. The Clefable messed me up though. I forgot that it's a fairy type, so I switch to Blaziken. But after switching to Matang and getting Parahex continuously, I finally beat it. And last up is Lopony, and I just finish it off like that. And yeah, Mr. Ding Dong is someone whom I am inspired by to make these kind of nuzlocks. Check him out on the top right corner. Next up I randomly get jumped here by Aaron. Yup, the elite for member himself. But he just wanted to fight me with on with my level, so I guess it's okay. Um what I do is I just set up a substitute with my Blaziken and three swords dances and sweep. Well not exactly because the stupid beauty fly interrupts my strategy and because of that I had to switch out for his rapion because I was at low health. So I switch out to Torterra and it almost gets killed so I switch to Typhlosion and can luckily tank two hits from that rapion and finish it off like that with two lava plumes. And last up was Scizor which you guys know the case. One, one lava plume, it's one choice. Uh, Freaking bug steel type, no need to explain. So overall this battle was kinda easy but it was tough as well. It could have gone better, it could have gone worse. So I'm not gonna say anything and let's just move on to the next battle. Right, time to battle Fantina. This battle was quite easy only because I got lucky. I was gonna use some other strategy but I ended up using some other strategy. Let me let me explain what happened. So basically I decided to use the substitute and double team strategy with my embryon, but it kind of fails. And due to my own stupidity, yeah, I'm stupid. Um, that happens. Yeah, my strategy falls off, falls apart. But what I do is I baton pass this to my blaze again, and oh my god, that thing just did amazing in this battle. I just set up a single sword stance, a single one, and sweep her entire team with Night Slash, and I'm not even kidding well, I'm telling that to you. I mean, it was kind of, I was kind of scared of Spirit Doom, but I get a lucky crit here, so yeah. Um, I basically swept Fantina with my Blaze again, which I really never expected to do so. And so yeah, if your Umbreon strategy fails, I guess you can do this one. <laughs> I really don't know if you can do this one, but I accidentally did this one and it was very fun and nice. Time to battle shield, and in this battle, an unwanted tragedy occurred. He starts off with the Storavia, which I easily take out with one iron head and one bullet punch from my Matang. Um, that cheeky bird went for an hour though. Cheeky bird. Whatever. Next up was Monferno and I thought I would outspeed it with my Torterra. But that was the biggest mistake I had ever made because that thing outsped my, outsped my Torterra with another flamethrower and finished off my Torterra. Crush! No! No way! But it wasn't time to cry so I switch out to Typhlosion and finish it off and I wish I had done that earlier but oh well. Next up was Snorlax which I one shot at with my blaze again I would never wanna lose this Pokemon. Last up was Heracross which I easily one shot with the blaze kick from my blaze gun. But I guess this was chance because uh, I missed the first death and that that was my starter. That was actually kinda tense but oh well let's move on. Oh my god this place is the love of my life I'm telling you this place is the best. Oh okay. Um, I really grinded too much for Maylene's team because her level cap was 39 and I just grinded everyone to level 50. But whatever, I just really love that EV training farm place. You can get so much experience, so much EV, so my goodness. I mean, why would you not 
you know what? Let's just get to the battle. And yeah. Um it's basically a complete sweep with my Gyarados. Yeah, my new team member. I caught a magic arp before. Um so I, I just evolved it into a Gyarados and then now I'm using it for melee. And I just set up substitute and uh, six dragon dances and just finish off our entire team. Also, I had the leftovers recovery, which helped me a lot. By the way, a quick intermission. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really makes my day um, if you guys subscribe to me. It takes a lot of hard work and time to make such videos. And when you guys subscribe and show some support, I feel uh, I don't know, a sense of gratitude or something. I feel really good. It really makes my day. So yeah. Also hit the bell icon for future updates. And uh, now I got a battle crash awake. So I think I'm gonna take a few Pokemon from my PC. Time for this shield Ryo battle. And yeah. Looks like it's a... Uh, yeah, this battle was way too easy. I was over leveled again. My entire team was like level 55 or something. And this guy had like Pokemon in the 40s. So yeah, am I right to just destroy this Raptor and the rest was done by my Metagross. So yeah, that was that, that, was that much easier. And I'm not even joking as you can see the screen. Looks like I'll have to stop grinding so, but, I mean, come on man, how can you stop grinding in this game? Like, I just love to grind in this game, man, it's a fun experience to do that. Oh, that's actually a pun. Whatever, let's move on. Right, crash awake time and I just ended up sweeping his entire team with Raichu and Expert Belt. This is a really good strategy. I also gave my Raichu the move Grass Knot um, to one-shot the Quagsire. So yeah, it was way too easy. Um, and I'm not even gonna show you guys the rest of the battle because it was that easy. So let's just move on. Even this Dawn battle was quite easy. So I'm not gonna show you the battle. Yeah. Even the Cyrus battle was way too easy. And um, nothing to show here. Well, guess what? Instead of directly going to um, Canalave City, I have to go to the Paw Park and battle the Castle of Dirac, or Dirac. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but whatever. Um, I really love this game because of that reason. Like, it just opens up, which is really awesome and gives, you know, some importance to the unimportant areas. That's what I love about this game. But anyways, <laughs> I sweep his entire team with my Gyarados. Thank you so much Gyarados, you're awesome. And also thanks to me being way too over leveled. I don't know man. I I am just way too over leveled. And I think I will be for the rest of this run. I just can't control myself from grinding the daycare center. So, um, please, um, bear with me. Hey, <laughs> whatever, that's more. Well, it was time to battle shield again. And yeah, um, I was over leveled again, and, but he was still smart, so he gave a really good fight, but n I did not lose any members. I don't know, man, like, I think I will reach a level, uh, some kind of a level threshold or something, where I just cannot be under leveled or just cannot be equal to others in levels anymore, you know. I think I reached that kind of low threshold where I just have to be all leveled no matter how much I control my grinding or how many less trainers I battle I think it's something like that so yeah I am very sorry for that and I think um, after this year or I don't know after a few months, I think I'm do gonna do another Nuzlocke of this game without being over level. I guess I'll... I don't know, comment down below if you want another Nuzlocke of this game. Um, I would do it again 
in the next week itself, but I mean, I don't wanna do that. Let's just move on. Sun, another shiny. I get a shiny save light here, which is really nice. And now it's time to battle Byron after doing all those Riley, uh, after going out with Riley and stuff. Let's just battle him. And yeah, I was too lazy to go back to heal up my Pokemon, which ended up being a huge problem in this battle. Well, not a, not too big of a problem, but it was a problem. Um, Typhlosion took down two of his Pokemon. Next up was Agron, so I couldn't use Typhlosion since it's a rock type. So I um, switched to Blastoise and finished it off. And the next, next up, well, I mean the next Pokemon was also easy to take out. I don't remember it actually, so please forgive me. But I had almost nothing left for Byron's last Pokemon, which is his Ace Pokemon, Bastiodon. So yeah, I had to sacrifice my Metagross. Goodbye, Dumbbell. I gave you such a dumb name, Steven and I will miss you. Oh, and yeah, also, whoever is watching this video will miss you. Goodbye. But thankfully, I ended up beating him. Just, like, barely. Let's just move on. Next, I complete all the Galactic Admins, Commanders, um, bullshit, and... I, I also get to go to a snow point temple in this game, which is really nice. Um, but whatever, let's not get caught on that. Let's just move on to the battle. And there's an easy strategy to beat her. She always leads off with her Obama Snow, so just uh, destroy that with any fire type Pokemon. Next you gotta do is switch to, um, I mean, if you get a Poliwag, you gotta switch to a power wrath, then set up substitute and bulk four bulk ups and sweep her entire team with drain punch and that's exactly what I did. But in my case it took a lot of time to do because um yeah her wall ring was really annoying and kept breaking my substitute. I don't know why man in Mr. Ding Dong's video it just kept using yawn but in my video that's not the case, it just kept using Blizzard to destroy the substitute. But I just set up 4 bulk ups and sweep with Drain Punch. And it's an easy win for me. So yeah, um, it's good. And I've got one more badge left after this. So let's just move on. Alright, phew. I complete the entire Galactic HQ and I didn't show you guys that battle because there are two back-to-back -back bat Cyrus battles here and they are very difficult so I didn't show you the first one and then I make my way through Mount Coronet and then I reach Spear Pillar and after that Cyrus just take catches Dialga and Palkia and moves on to Distortion World so I make my way through the entire Distortion World and now I'm here and I have to do back-to-back -back Cyrus battles. I know he heals me up, but still. Um, okay, let's just move on. The first battle consists of him using two level 70 legendaries, being Dialga and Palkia. I mean, come on. This battle's just cheap. I mean, nothing really happens though, except for Poriwad dying. Uh, but... I mean, I am gonna count his death, but not for the next battle, because this is just cheap, man. Using two low 70 legendaries with strong moves, and I am pretty sure he has Eevee, Eevee trained them, and I mean, done some other stuff, such as giving them competitive items and stuff, so yeah. Um, I'm, I am still gonna use Power Rat for the next battle. And that's exactly what I did. But next battle was, though was arguably harder. Um, his Crobat hits damn hard so I switch to my Gyarados and tank some hits and finish off the Crobat. I mean it, it, it kills itself, it kills itself. Just kidding. Next up some Magnezone so I switch to Slugterra. 
my new gasodon. Yeah, I just brought it out because I needed it for the electric type gym. And I just I just randomly predicted a thunderbolt. Luckily, that's what happened. It used thunderbolt, and I just finished off the magma zone with an earth power. Next up is a Haunt Squirrel, so I switched to Typhlosion and finished off with a single flamethrower. Next up was his own Gyarados, and this was the one which completely screwed things for me. It hit way too hard, so I had no choice but to sacrifice my Blaze again. No, Zuko! How am I. Who am I, who am I gonna do? Sword stand set up with. No! Rip, buddy. And now I'm gonna struggle against normal types because I don't really have any fighting types in my PC. But again, um, here I had no choice but to use Power Rat just to um, not wipe out in this battle. So guys, it's a humble request. Please allow me to use Power Rat in this one battle. In this one battle, all of you guys can agree that the last battle was just cheap. Him using two levels of the legendaries, and yeah, so please allow me to use Power Rat for this one battle. And I promise I'm not gonna use it again in this playthrough. So please, it's gonna be a huge favor if you do so. But, anyways, I finished off, and next up, I had to catch the Giratina, so I just ended up Master Balling it. I know I'm being cheap now, but. It doesn't matter, you're getting a free legendary, why Why do you wanna leave that? Plus, Cynthia uses a Rayquaza in the post game, hashtag spoiler alert. So yeah, I'm gonna use one too in the post game, what's, what's wrong with that? And let's just move on to the next one. Right, time for the final badge and the final battle. I mean final gym battle. So yeah, let's move on to Walkner. And this battle was actually quite tough. I decided to use only Gastrodon, Golem, and Agron for this battle. But guess what? All three of them died in this battle. I mean, these guys were expendable because I was only gonna use them for this gym anyway, so I guess it's okay um, sacrificing them, even though I feel really bad for Slugterra or Gastrodon. By the way, guess the reference. Actually, I think many of you guys know it, but still. Um, yeah, I definitely miss Gashrodon, it helped me a lot to get through the Diao and Palkia fight and this one as well. Uh, but anyways, I just sweep the rest of his members with Typhlosion and I basically win. Yeah. I mean, I don't really feel bad as well, it's like a 50-50 situation. Also, my other members did not die, which was really good. And yeah. I win my 8th and final badge, let's just move on to the next battle. Righty, time for the final dawn battle, and yeah, this was easy. By the way, do you know um, how much I battled dawn, how I battled on here, well, um, the thing was that there's this um, event in the victory world specific to this game where you need to pair up with a trainer called Marley and you need to battle some people with her um, until you reach Route 24 which used to be an event place in the regular platinum game but whatever after you reach there you gotta battle some trainers there and uh, I mean obviously those are optional and yeah then you battle Dawn for the final time in this place. I mean, this place suits Dawn so much, seriously. This place is cute, Dawn is cute. I mean, I do not have a crush on her or anything, but... Uh, I mean, this place just suits Dawn. Uh, by the way, um, my brother Jake recorded this, recorded this battle, so yeah. Um, please show some support him, not for this, but... He also uploads some Pokemon videos and makes good content, so please show some support to my brother. Uh, I was forced to say all this. Just kidding, just kidding. I, I am saying all this from heart. Yeah, from heart. Even though it's scientific, it does not matter. Whatever. Um, so show some support in. And yeah, let's uh, just 
move on out of here. Well then, well then, time to battle shield for the final time. And this battle was actually tense. My Swampert takes out his Staraptor. Why didn't I use Raichu here? Because his Staraptor may know you turn and it may switch out to grind uh, ground type Pokemon or something. So yeah, I didn't want to take a risk. Next up is Breloom, so I switch to my Crobat and finish it off with Fly. Next up is Norlax and I take it out with two Focus Blasts for my Typhlosion. Even though I was really scared of that thing just setting up and finishing me off, finishing off my entire team. Next up is Azumarill, so I switch to Raichu, but that thing hits an Aqua Tail and hits a critical Aqua Jet on top, which is enough to kill my Raichu. Goodbye, Moose, Butterscotch, Moose. Okay, sorry. But then my Gyarados comes out, sets up one Dragon Dance, and finished off the rest of his team. Damn, Gyarados! Where do you get so much power from? Seriously. Well, whatever. Sometimes this game can be difficult, as difficult as Kaizo, but at least it does not use cheap strategies like in Kaizo. So it's much better than Kaizo. Here's my team for the league. I'm actually gonna change the Venusaur's moveset, but I mean, that's. I just wanted to show you the final team. So yeah, let's go. It's Elite Four time. League time, no looking back. Let's end this. First up was the bug type member Aaron. And he was a sweep. Thanks to my Typhlosion with the Expert Belt. I mean, his Rapion could have done some serious damage if it had survived, but. He just got crit to death, and yeah, basically I just swept his entire team with my Typhlosion. You're awesome, buddy. You're one of the best types, uh, best fire types around here. So yeah, and I just sweep through Aaron, and looks like, um, I mean even his older battle was easier than this. I mean harder than this, but let's just move on to Burfa. Time to battle Burfa and she was also quite easy here to beat. My Venusaur and Swampert were easily the MVPs of this fight. Um, so yeah, everything was easy to beat except for that Dawnfan with that Window Berry, but it didn't really do nothing much, I mean, not as much as I expected to, so yeah. That, that was awesome, my first two Elite Four members were quite easy. But I'm hoping that it's the same with other members. And Cynthia, of course, champion Cynthia. I hope they're all easy. It's not gonna be that fun, but I mean my focus is just on winning this game. It's all I'm always like that. I don't care about if if the battles are climactic or not. I my focus is always on just winning. I'm I'm just a stupid guy like that, but Oh well, um, I guess it's enough of my stupid blabbering, now that I'm extremely stupid. Let's just move on to the third lead for member, or Flint. Let's go. In the Flint battle though, I literally predicted that Flint would use fire types with sun based moves so using swampert wasn't a, wasn't such a good option so what i did was i basically used my typhlosion with the move rock climb which is rock type in this game that's really good and an expert belt i just destroyed the first four of, four of his pokemon also it was smart to have extra sensory because his infernape was easy because of that but my Typhlosion was in low health after that, and yeah. Next up was Magmortar, so I just switched to Swampert because I knew that thing had no sun-based moves or anything. So I just destroyed that thing with my Swampert with one, actually two, I don't know, I don't remember all those stuff. I just make the videos. Just kidding guys, I really love you guys, you guys so much. So show so much so much of support, but I just love to joke around like that, like an idiot. And I told you already, I'm stupid. 
but whatever last up is a drift blim and i finished off with my umbreon i mean i was was trying to fool around with swampert because i am an idiot but i end up switching to umbreon and i win this battle let's move on to lucian welp lucian time and this was the absolute hardest battle out of a mall seriously spoiler alert he was even harder than cynthia but whatever what i decided to do was i just decided to set up one i was trying to be humble uh, so i just decided to set up one double team with my embryon and crunch off his pokemon but his hypno had barely i think it didn't even have any attacking move so i just sub use, sub use a substitute and increased my evasion to the max and finished off the hypno but what happened next was um, his Gardevoir came over and it used Aura Sphere and that move never misses at all. So yeah, I just set up these 6 double teams for nothing. Or did I? Because I used Baton Pass to Crobat, I know it's weird using a Crobat in a Psychic type battle but my Crobat actually did great in this battle. Um, he finished off the Gardevoir, the Jinx, and the Slowbro, even though that thing was bulky as hell and annoyed me. But what happened next was I had to switch out to my Typhlosion um, to finish off the Bronzong. And this stupid Glade got a nasty crit on my Crobat and killed it. Rip, man. Rip. I really miss you. I, I mean, I'm really gonna miss you a lot, but I just finish it up and let's move on to the champion. Well then, after all these things, it's time to battle Cynthia. And I'm not gonna give in, I'm not gonna give up. There's no looking back now. Let's go. So, yeah, what I basically do is I set up a substitute with my Umbreon, set up six double teams. Baton pass out to my Gyarados and uh, my Gyarados sets up 6 Dragon Dances and finishes off her entire team like it's nothing. I, seriously though, how does my Gyarados get that power from? Gyarados is definitely one of those, one of the most overpowered Pokemon in Nuzlocke. Damn. And yeah. This was the, also this was the first time when I felt that Cynthia was too easy because I had never won against Cynthia so easily even in regular Platinum when I during 2018 or 17 I don't remember but yeah I just destroyed her entire team like it was nothing with my Gyarados and I won I know it's cheap of me to do that and it's kinda unoriginal but I just wanna win and I only focus on winning as I already told you. Right then, let's get on to the Hall of Fame. Darwin, the bulky savior of our team. Gyarados, clearly the MVP of this entire run. Crobat, the brave warrior who helped us um, a lot until she died to a sheep crit from a Galade. Anyways, Marsh, the awesome water type starter, Quillium, the awesome fire type starter, and last but not least, definitely not least, the most recent team member on my team, um, Toad, the Venusaur. Everyone helped me a lot in this run. But anyways, I think I'll do the post game also, I'm still thinking about it, but whatever, I enjoyed this game a lot, it was really amazing, uh, and the Nuzlocke was made it even more, was what made it even more amazing. Also as I, guy, as I told you guys already, you can use this as a guide to your own Nuzlocke to chase your path to victory. But anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to leave a like, share and subscribe, do all that stuff and 
I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode or in the next video. So yeah, everybody, peace out.